Good morning, Payam. So I'm going to try to show you how to set up symbols as a font here in Sketch. Um, so what I've done is I've taken all the symbols from the online store and put them into a sketch file and put them into bounding boxes of 2048 by 2048 pixels. Um, the reason I did that was because previously what I found was in glyphs when I imported the symbols, they wouldn't be, uh, it was hard to sort of place them in the right place um, within these boxes. So, and also the align tools are sort of shitty. There's no grouping and everything like that. So I'm gonna to try to re-import these and see if that'll be better. So I have each of these as individual elements. I am going to, um, let me see here, just delete the SVG exports I had before. And I'm gonna take all of these and make them exportable as SVGs so that I can just drag them out. Um, let's see if that actually works. Huh? Looks like I might have to do one at a time here. Okay, so now I have my 10 SVGs. I'm going to delete these glyphs from Glyphs. So I'm using a program called Glyphs. I found it online as a 30-day trial. Um, and uh, I've imported this font called SS Social Regular. I can send it to you, but essentially it's the font that um, online has a demo of being able to type. So that's how I sort of figured out how this works. So what I'll do is I'll add 10 new glyphs here. And I can just drag these individual SVGs into these glyphs. So I'm interested to see if this border here is actually going to help or not. So if I go into here, looks like looks like it actually used it to center it pretty well but it didn't actually put the border in the glyph that's interesting so i wonder if that's so it looks like these svgs themselves i don't need to open that decoder So the SVGs themselves have this line, but the program glyphs doesn't import it, which is actually sort of really nice. And the bonus of that, so it's neat with glyphs, you can actually open multiple glyphs in the same at the same time. So you can sort of check your alignment. But by the looks of it, it actually nicely centered everything in the right place. So if I look at um, this one is particularly off. Yeah, so I'm centered in the in my X height there. So I'm just going to rename these. Um, and in glyphs, you can press enter to go into the information. Oh, there's already one named Facebook, so I'll have to discard change and call this something else. And it's going to knock it out of there. Now I can rename this. Because Facebook was used by the font already and it's sort of registered in that font. I think for some reason it goes up there. I can just delete this then. So I'll just go and rename all of these. So these have all channel search, orders, home, etc. cetera. Um, what I can do now is go into info of the font and you'll see there's this setup of sub space, like a set of letters by a, a word. 
So what that's doing is uh, substituting these specific set of letters by a glyph. So I could also add in, so that's already set up for us, but like on O space N line, whatever, online by online. You could also make like shortcuts. So you could do like sub customers, CU by customers, sub um, R R E by reports, sub PR by, oh, etc. So I might just copy all of this up here. And I can take these down to sort of like two letter shortcuts. If you're really nitpick, we could sort of like take these and and go into one one letter, two or like two letter, three letter, four letter. I think once you get to one letter shortcuts, we run into issues because we'll have some like duplication. So you'll notice that Facebook isn't here. It's because it was up here earlier already. So I'm going to take this. I'm just going to cut that from up there. And paste it down here. And fix that to be the right one. Oh, and also this has like capitals, and I could change that to be capitals as well. So this is capital as needed. Facebook and sub. F A by Facebook. Perfect. So, so E by not font in 332. Okay, so I'll go to 332. Ah, there you go. So, update that again, see if there's any issues. Perfect. So, now that that's working, I've got my 10 glyphs here, including this one. And I can export this as an OCF. I'll just put it in the desktop as it was before. And I should be able to take this and put it into Font Explorer. So let's see here. Got Font Explorer open. I can import this. I believe this is the latest one. So Facebook online home orders so it's pretty neat. All right, so now that's there, I can use that in Sketch. So I can just you know, sort of have a new page here as testing. If I take the font, change this to SS social. The nice thing about the um, font, you'll see that it does have letters set up. I think it might just be Helvetica, but if you don't, then you run into issue. Then like if you type something and try to change your font, then it will mess it up. So um, there we go, Facebook. I wonder if this just needs to be refreshed because that's that should actually I'm gonna try change this to something different and then try changing back just because we should have okay so it looks like um So now the two letter ones work. So it's the font just needs to be refreshed there. Perfect. So that's how to create a symbol font using glyphs, um, SVGs, and all that jazz.